What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It's hunting season. Pretty much hunting season starts uh, in like one day because I'm heading west tonight. I'm heading over to Cooper's house and we're leaving early in the morning, but literally I've been running around all day today. I was 0% packed and now I'm like 80, 90% packed and uh, it's like six o'clock right now. So got to get everything finalized packing wise and then we're heading west to Nebraska. So I'm super excited. The truck is uh, pretty much loaded down. I got a new couple new decals. Awesome partners partnering with Western Tour partnering with Western Tour this year to kind of help support us and it was uh, such a huge success last year and so much fun. Um, so this is kind of Cooper and I's trip. This is like a go there and come back trip. Um, it's kind of kind of the start, I guess. Um, it's at least Cooper's Western Tour. So uh, we got the tent and uh, all the stuff set up on the truck. We're going to be staying out of it for uh, hopefully one or two or three days. Um, we know this property pretty good and uh, we're not going to be too picky. It's going to be Cooper's first mule deer. Oh, and like I said, I don't know if I said this, but I'm not hunting, just Cooper. So we're heading out there, but we got to get this thing loaded up. We got to get going. August 31st and Cooper and I are in Nebraska. We've been driving all day long. Uh, we're gonna roll in to where we're gonna be hunting in about two hours. We're literally just setting up camp in the truck and gonna go to sleep, wake up in the morning. It's gonna be opening day. So should be fun. Weather's dropping a bunch and uh, we have pretty high hopes for tomorrow, so we'll see. Hopefully we can get it done these first couple days because they're still in Melbourne. And after these first couple days, they probably won't be in Melbourne. So, fingers crossed, tomorrow should be pretty awesome. Hey, Chris. Yeah. I would say it would kill a meal deer. Right on. Every single one's in the dash. All right, everyone, we've made it here in Nebraska. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Cooper just wanted to shoot his bow to make sure he's still dialed. He's still dialed. So we're gonna go to bed, wake up early in the morning. See you in the morning. Right there's another one. In the thickets by those group of cedars. He's going down into it right now. Looks like a buck. Oh, white right tail? I couldn't tell. If you go. There he is. Yeah. yeah, it's a buck. That's a decent pair. It's white. Is it? We will. Yeah. We need to. We are hunting mule deer. Hopefully, we get one. We're in Nebraska with Tim and what's your name again? Colin. Colin. We're with Tim and Colin. Um, and we're hunting mule deer. So we're driving around right now and we're gonna try to find a, a buck and a divot and then try to stalk him. That's the plan of attack. Oh, there's white tailed does. Mule deer does, yeah. The doe on the front. The doe on the front. That would be a doe that we don't shoot, right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, just little guys. Chris? 
I think I found the cutest little deer I've ever seen. I love how they little prance. They prance. What? Precious little things. Okay. Now I'm gonna be. Oh yeah. Yep, does does and a fawn. Yeah. She's got giant ears. Yeah. <sighs> They're cows. What the heck? They don't look like cows. Think. Those are cows because they have big udders. Big mule deer, dead 2020. Update? Uh, yeah, there are coyotes chasing a calf. No. <laughs> no Alright, yeah, talk. there's, uh, you just said cows. I said no cow talk. That's cows. But, um, that we have a pretty big, pretty good sized buck and a doe spotted over about 500 yards. East or east, east, south, east, south, south, north, whatever. Laying in the middle of a field. Laying in the middle of a bean field. We're gonna try to sneak up to him, or get closer and make sure it's a shooter first. But Tim's getting Tim and Colin are getting us on him already, and it's not even class time yet. <laughs> not even class. I wouldn't be in class yet. Maybe we should kill one before class. <laughs> no, we have 10 minutes till class, but. No. Okay, All right, we spotted a buck. About probably 300 yards from where we are right now, probably 400, right? Probably. Three, 400, and we're gonna go. It's a doe and a buck, we think. We're gonna go try to sneak up through the beans. It's in a bean field with a tower, so we're gonna get up behind the tower underneath it, try to find where the buck is, and then sneak in, quartering to wind and where he's bedded facing. Now let's go. on the edge of the beans. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Peace. 
slow, be slow. That spike is still looking at us. We can't have him bossed. From them, just wait. Like we may not get a shot at them, but at least we'll know where they go. We have to be quiet too. We don't care about them. We have at least a hundred yards to go before we'll be able to see them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do they see us?
I'm gonna go get some food from the truck. Yeah, we will. Well, ooh. Okay. Here we go. Well, we got close, but we were sneaking up here. We think they just heard us and, and they started walking off. They went to the corn. We got within 45 yards, but no shot. Got in several times. Several times within 45 yards. No shot every time. It was a bummer. If Chris had his bow, they'd be smoked, right? Well, potentially. They would have an arrow flung at him. Mm -hmm. What are we doing now? We're gonna go back to the druggery group and go eat something and then try to find some more bucks. Sounds like a good plan, right? Sounds like a good plan.